What's up guys, Court Order here, out today at this new permission we've never been to that Mr. Charles Harley got. There is an old stone building around the corner. We're gonna kind of walk this pasture around and hopefully find some old colonial stuff. But it's me, like I said, Charlie Harley. We got Musket Ball Matt, we got uh, Rich Van Winkle, and we got Dog Tag Doug, Mexican Doug, Jane Fond Doug. And we also got a whole boatload of cows back there that maybe the farmer will release later. We'll all run for our lives. We'll see how it goes. So back in the first dig, we'll see you guys soon. Later. Well, we came out. You can see Rich out there to the left. Matt is to the right of that old buttonwood tree. Charlie's up here. And I am hugging the edge of the field here where there's an old colonial house tucked in the woods. And I had this signal here, it was a 26 in the hole, 24, 25 out of the hole. And I got myself a button and it's a tomback button. I already kind of brushed it. And what's cool about this tomback button is it's got a full shank on it. Look at that. Very rarely do I find tombacks with the shank. They're so brittle. So I'm gonna spray it real quick and we're gonna get a good look at it, but this is a nice start, and this goes back well into the 1700s, so that's a heck of a find. Let me clean it up. All right, here's this tomback button, and this is honestly one of the best ones I've ever gotten, and I'll show you why. Now, the tomback button itself, people ask me a lot, what is a tomback button? Tomback is just the alloy that it was made from. It has a lot of copper in it, has some tin in it, actually has some arsenic in it, those two are what gives it this little sheen. And a lot of times when you see it in the hole, it looks like it's gonna be a silver coin, but it's not. But the back, what's really cool is if you can see where the shank connects, it was actually spun on a lathe. Then the shank is applied and the shank hole is drilled through by hand. And if you look at the button itself, you can even see the round groove lines from where this button was put on a lathe kind of like the grooves of a record album revolving around the, the middle of the shank. But it's absolutely stunning. What a nice button that is and a really good start to the day. Awesome little treasure. Well, we've been here about maybe 45 minutes. Not many signals. The Tom back button, the Hot Wheel. We're thinking about moving, but Matt said he might have a copper, so we're gonna go take a look. You saw all those cows, all that cow manure is like, will burn old coins up. So a lot of them are toasty and slick. Let's see, oh, I see it way that down there. Like, mm -hmm. Way yeah, go ahead, down go the bottom. Get it out of there. Let me see. That looks like it was down quite a ways too. Did it come through nice and clear? It was deep, so. There's a lot of crosstalk on the machines from the house. I think there's high power lines. I'll let Matt brush it. I see weird things in the back. I don't know if that's dirt. Let's hope it's something decent. Toothbrush. How about like a Nova Constellation, Matt? Wouldn't that be nice? That'd be Some, first, something unique. First one. Or like there's coins from the 1700s that have elephants on them, Rich. I don't know if anyone's ever found one, but there's I've a lot of them. On the internet, yeah. yes. If you see an elephant, Matt, Rich is going to do a cartwheel in the, in the field. Well, there's Matt's copper, and as predicted, it is toasty, Matt. But I think, I think if you were to clean the corrosion layer off, You'll be able to ID it, because I want to say I see some detail on the face. And the coin is pretty thick, like on some of the sections. This section thins out, but this side it gets fairly thick. It's just the corrosion is caked on. But if you can knock that off, I think you might be able to ID it. But at the moment in the field, we cannot. And that stinks, because the tomback button I got is very early. So this could be, you know, like a state copper. It could be something... You know, an early U.S. coin could be that Nova Constellatio or the Fugio that you've been chasing. But in its present state, we can't make out nothing. Might even be like a King George something or other. Mm -hmm. But I can't make it out. Too bumpy and lumpy. Kind of like that breakfast you had this morning. <laughs> Not looking. Maddie's had healthy food. It's yeah. all bumpy and lumpy. I don't know, man, but great find. Nice early copper. No ID at the moment, but still nice to be on the old stuff. All right. Thank well done, you. brother. All right, Rich is being very mysterious about this find, but he seemed excited about it. I think it's cool. Have you found one before? In a way, but no. 
Okay, that's pretty mysterious like also. Said, I know what it is, but I don't know what it is. Oh. Because of the shape of it. Oh, it looks like a buckle with a keyhole on it. Yeah. What the heck is that? I don't know. What is that? That curve is supposed that to be That curve there. is awesome. Yeah. It almost looks like a knee buckle. It's knee buckle sized, but a skeleton keyhole in the middle that would maybe unlock something? Like a knee chastity belt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it reminds me of. Well, that is wicked cool, Rich. Somebody's going to have to let us know what this is. I've never know, seen a cause... buckle with a keyhole in it like that. No. And it's old, Rich. Yeah. It's got nice age to it. The it patina is nice. So it's, it's made out of something, you know. Wow. I don't know. My, my brain is trying to figure out what you would unlock a little buckle like that for. And the curvature is awesome. Yeah, well, what locks that has a curve to it like that? Like uh, well, locks that usually have that kind of a bow, like I said, you're talking like knee buckles, shoe buckles, but this is too small. Usually what not like, like a knapsack a, buckle or a, a horse leather, buckle. A leather letter or document tube. I, I, I guess, but I would think you'd put the document in a box or something, not put a padlock <laughs> on the document. I don't know, Rich. That is fascinating. You're right. That is a weird who's a wiki. <laughs> well, maybe someone will know. Uh, we'll Google it later, but yeah. that's a pretty awesome find, man. Well done. Thanks. Congratulations. Unique. Uh, and I bumped into, of course, good old dog tag. He got something, I'm going to say, interesting. This yeah. might not be his greatest find ever, I, but I maybe think, it is. I Who am I? I think it's old. No, I think it's old. Colonial old. No, but it's cool. It's got threading on it, so it's not going to be that old, but it looks like a, a barrel tap. Some sort. This end here would go into the barrel. Oh, it's, do you think? Yeah, that end. Oh, this end would be the end you turn, and then this end, the liquid would come out. Get out! Well, this is from years of doing this hobby, Doug. I mean, <laughs> okay. you become an, a master of identification. I'll tell you. <laughs> You are very well. You might have thought this end went into the into the barrel, yeah, and it came out this end. So I was just correcting you. Yeah. You know, I, don't, I wanted you to look smart on the camera. But all joking but, aside, I think this could be close to a hundred years old. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah, just from the patina, and it is all brass. I mean, yep. obviously they still make barrel taps. Yep, yep. But it's pretty cool. It's a sign of life, and you know, behind that old home, that 1700s home, uh, I'll it clean very, it up and maybe find a date on it, which would be. Helpful. Do they have dates on them normally? I, I, well, some of them would have a, a patent. It's possible. Yeah, it's date, possible. But I knows? have a bunch of barrel taps in my display case that you I... want another one? No, no, no. I have to find it, but thank you. <laughs> oh, though. okay. But no, it's cool. I mean, it's something, Doug. You're on the board. If some... nothing else, it's a dollar's worth of scrap brass. And sometimes you need that first find to open the floodgates. You know what I mean? Well, like this would get... open floodgates. <laughs> Release the floodgates. <laughs> All right, well, we kind of pushed out. There was not a lot of signals by that old farmhouse. We came into the second field. Not a lot of signals so far, but I did just get this. That sounds good. That could be, could possibly be a large scent. I swung over already. It's bigger than a dime. Starts right there at the head of my coil, and if you stare at the ground, sounds good. Sounds shallow too. Let's dig it up and see what we got. Could be a modern dime, who knows? Well, I got it out. And I got a little bit of a look at it. It's not a dime, it looks like it's going to be a token. Still has a lot of gilt on it, or at least some of the brass coming through. Good luck, good health to you in 1935. Oh, that's cool. It's got some age to it, at least. There's a horseshoe on it, and in the ribbon on the horseshoe, it says, help the, help the kitties. Good luck, good health to you, 1935, help the kitties. And on this side, it says Christmas 1934 VFW National Home. So that's a pretty cool looking token. Older than I would have thought, very shallow. I mean, maybe only two inches deep. And it has a lot of the shininess to it. So the field was kind to this guy. 
Neat little find. Cool. In the back she goes. Charlie Harley on the board with at least something old. And I wanted to show Charlie my token, so I was walking it over to him when he said he he got something. Oh, looks like he got a piece of an oil lamp. Here, I'll switch. There's my token. Oh, let's see your token, yeah. And yeah, you got a piece of an old oil lamp. This top part's bent over, but the wick would be coming out. There'd be a little stem off to the side that you would rotate and the wick would come up. So pretty nice. This could have some good age to it, Charlie. So there's a couple hey. little bits and bobs in this field. This is very appropriate. EFW token. Yeah, 1934. Memorial, Memorial Day it weekend. It says like help the kitties or something 1934. on 1934. Yeah, that's cool. So there's a couple bits and bobs. Yeah. Oh, Rich is back out. Rich was in the creek looking for arrowheads. That's his main thing now, Charlie. Every place we go, yeah. we'll all be hunting, and I see Rich's detective just sitting <laughs> in the woods, yeah. and he's in the fields looking for arrowheads. He's he will hooked. find something nice. He's you hooked he on the uh, on the Native American stuff. There you go, buddy. I still yeah. like metal. Yeah. Well, hey, good find for you, yeah. and uh, I like my little token. So let's see what else we can find here. Yeah, so sometimes there's a date on these, patent date sometimes. On huh? the knob, but your knob's oh, missing. Oh, the knob's yeah. missing. Yeah, you're knobless. Well, the other guys gave up. They're back at the cars. We're going to move. We're walking out to the road to take the long walk back. And I just had a signal that, meh. That's a, that's a tough signal. It's either going to be a button or a shotgun head stamp. I haven't found any shotgun head stamps yet. So I'm going to hope... Let's dig it up. Hope for a button. No, I got it, Charlie. I got yeah. rewarded once in a while. I haven't seen a lot of shotgun head stamps, so I was taking a chance. It was a 32-33, and I already got a look at it and redropped it. And it's that's, a button. That's your second button for today, right? Yes, sir. Second button. That's never old. give up, never surrender, no, Charlie. No, we were just discussing. We were yeah. not getting many signals here. No, but sometimes you got to walk a field and you might find a hot section. Not that we're necessarily in a hot section. No, we're not. No, but, but you never know sometimes. This is old too, Charlie. This is pre-Civil War. It's a brass flat button, full shank still, not broken off, very thin. And I don't see anything on the front. It might just be a plain flat button, but still... It's got some good age to it, and I'll clean it later and look for any markings on the back that might indicate a manufacturer. Wow, that shank is very thin. Looks like it could break. So I'm going to have to uh, be careful put it in the case. Yeah, I'm surprised it's still in there because everything's so thin. The shank's thin, the button's thin. Yeah, everything is thin. You're but right. But the, the whole the thing's complete. I wish we were thin, Charlie. <laughs> <laughs> As we get older, we're getting heavier. As the well, button gets older, it gets well, thinner. We got, we got heat today. It's heat. It's yeah. hot. And the ground's hard. We might have to put some shorts on or something. This ground's like concrete trying to get down a couple inches. Well, hey, it's a good find. We'll start walking back, meet yeah. up with the guys. But uh, thank you, sir. I'll take it. All right, we're walking back to the cars. We crossed back over the creek. And Rich started freaking out. He must have gotten something really good. I didn't want to know what it is. I like to be surprised. Well, you know what I love to find? What we all love to find? Gold coins. That we found before. <laughs> oh, that we found before. <laughs> uh, well, there's a lot of things. Let me see. So, it's in this little clump here. And as soon as I saw the front of this thing, I covered it back up. What is that? Is that a button? That is a button, and it says 1744. There's no a date way. on the button? Yeah. Is there an image on it, too? Yeah. It looks like it's a coat of arms. Yep. So I, I stopped, and I called oh you. Oh, my. You, you sure it's not a, a cufflink or something? No, I, I have no idea. I can see pillars on both Maybe sides. Maybe it's not or... even a button. I Maybe think it might be a, co like... a copper coin. Well, I don't know. it's got a curvature silver. to it. Yeah, it's a curve. Oh. That's why I'm thinking. Oh, Rich, let's slowly pop it out because I want to see what it looks like as you see it. That's amazing. Oh, yeah. I'm a, I can see it. Oh, and it oh. is a button. It is a button. Wow. That's going to be really special if there's a date Oh, on my it. gosh. It's going, to, it's going to probably commemorate some sort of an event. I think, that, was that French oh, and Indian? It's oh. old, too. Look at that can I that? It looks like it's going to be. Is it pure? Is that, look at the style of, of look at the shank. That's French and that Indian. Shank. That's French and Indian uh, error. Oh, there's a glob. 
See the glob holding the shank on? Oh, my on? goodness. Let me see that before you clean it too much. What if it's a, a coin that made into a button? Oh, my goodness. I think it's a, no, I think it's a, a button. button because of the curvature on it. It's cut slightly convex on this side. Yeah. Wow, Rich. That image, let's brush it very lightly. Seven. I could see 1744 or something like that. Yeah. What an amazing image. Let's clean it up carefully. Don't, you know, we'll take our time. This could be something really special. It's, Museum type piece, yeah, Charlie. I'll say. Wow, that's going to be awesome. All right, we're still cleaning it's it the up. It's the exact. Rich is brushing. We're throwing a lot of guesses out. This is an amazing little piece here. It is the exact front and like what it says and everything of a, of a real. real. But there's nothing on the back. This is and... what he's got. And it does. It looks just like a half real, only this is copper. It's dated 1744, and there's writing. I don't know if that's the writing that would be on a real. It looks like it is. It says, Nist or what does it say on them? Numa. Pneumococcal. <laughs> I don't know. That's what it pneumonia. Says. That, that, that's a bacteria, Q, guys. The Q U E at the top. That's a bacteria. But the back, clearly, that's an applied shank. You could see the big glob where it was soldered on. Very old school and beefy shank. That's fantastic, man. That's a museum quality piece if I've ever seen one. Yeah, I'm gonna have to research can, this. Can I take a few Absolutely. Yeah. Way to go, man. Thank you. We're gonna try to get some more. All right, we just moved from the first field and we came to this spot, which we were at before a few years ago, but they cut a lot of the hay. Those ruins in front of Rich are absolutely amazing. And on this side, there's this old starter home and uh, we did this yard before, but never this little strip. So we're gonna try around here. Matt ran out here like he was shot out of a cannon and got two good things while the rest of us were still pulling our pants up. Let's see what he's got. Oh, I see a big circle in the hole. Is it a coin? No, it's not. I think it's a piece of jewelry. A piece of jewelry, really? Oh, I see fancy on it. I see fancy on it. You mind if I grab it? Go ahead. Is it silver? can't tell. I mean, I see silvery color, but it, I don't know if it's sterling or not. Definitely a necklace, and I do like the outside. So it looks like Art Deco-y to me. That must have been screaming, too, for the size of this, and even if it's... Let me see. I have a magnet on my shovel. It's not sticking. I don't know if it's uh, silver or not. You'd have to spray it and see how it cleans up. But I heard you got two things on the walk over yeah, here. Yeah, I got another thing over there. All right, you hold this, and we'll come back and spray it. Let's see what else you got in the second pool. Oh, he's even out of my car yet. That's what I said. He made a beeline <laughs> over here, Charlie. <laughs> oh, right here. Oh, it's big. We. Oh, look at that. This is a newer, like like King George the Fifth or something. I can see the date, 1936 on it. So it's still Britannia, but clearly yes. the newer kind. And yep, there's King George. Yep, that's George the... Uh, I'm, I'm trying to look to read it so I can sound smart. I don't know which George it is. What, what year is it? 1936. Uh, it could be the 8th. The 8th? Uh, yeah, I don't know how many Georges there were. I think this is George the Jefferson. <laughs> George the <laughs> Jefferson. I don't know who it is. But that's cool. Still a nice old coin. Could have been brought back from like a World War II soldier or something like that. They yeah. did come back with coins in their pockets and souvenirs. Sure. So, well, that leads me, Charlie, to think that this little section that was never hit before, was truly never hit before. Let's hop to it, Charlie, and we're all yeah, gonna join in. Hit, we never hit this, so got our fingers crossed. And there's a lot of structures. Here comes Dougie around the corner. So the four of us, I think are gonna have a good finish. All right, Dog Tag Doug might have himself what we call in the hobby, a winner. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, was it, Doug? Is that what, no, go back, go back. Right there. Oh man, that's a juicy one, Doug. You hear how it just stops? That's yes. what I like about it. Yes, it's small. Starts right there. And just stops. Stop. All right, Doug. Let's see what we get out of here. And while you're digging it, we're going to take a look at some of the beauty of these yeah. old stone structures. And when you see structures like this, if you get permission to metal detect, I suggest you do it. <laughs> All right, Mr. Dog Tag's got a winner. I got a glimpse of it. This thing is cool. You have it in your hand? Yeah. Let me see. I got to yeah. get it in the sun. It's kind of flimsy, but it's got something 
interesting looking on it. Yeah, what? You think it's a badge? Uh, Look at that big crest on there. Yeah. You see the standing up lions? Is that what that is in this corner? Yeah, yeah. like the two animals. Okay. There's like two lions. And this looks like almost like that thing that's on the back of a mercury dime with the axe head on the top. Oh, what, yeah, what yeah, do you call yeah. that? Yeah, uh, that, fasces. That feces? Yeah. Fasces. So the lions dropped some feces down there. Yeah. That's really cool, Rich. Look at that. Oh, that is cool. Something like that rings up real loud and I can hear it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Doug's not known for the little things. <laughs> that's right. Doug's that's like, Rich's forte. Doug's like, look at this manhole cover I got. <laughs> yeah. That's a nice find, Doug. Yeah, that's well cool. Done. I don't clean it up and see if I see anything else interesting on it. Well, when you're doing places like this, you really have the opportunity to find almost anything. Going back to the earliest days of the country and beyond. And out in this field, I had this kind of scratchy 32. A little higher after I cut it out of the plug. And I got myself this, which for a second I thought was a coin, but I can feel the busted shank on the back. Yeah, I can see the two prongs sticking up where there was a shank on there. That's a busted flat button, but again, probably goes back pre-Civil War, thin, I don't see any markings on it. Cleaned up later, shankless. But man, this is our second or third trip going around these ruins. So we're gonna see what we can find. And every time we've come, this hill behind me was always overgrown. The farmer finally cut it, so it'll be our first opportunity up there. So I'm gonna push that direction and see what we can find. But just love the scenery here. Not Matt, the other scenery. <laughs> All right, I just got done pulling a button and as I was standing up, Rich yelled out that he's got something cool. He's got a corn. Rich, did you see the building behind you? Yeah. How amazing is that building? It is really amazing. That's got to be an old starter home going back to maybe 1730s, 1740s. That's what I'm thinking because it's separate rooms in there. Yep, it's just, I can't believe some of it's still standing. But Rich said he's got a coin. I don't know if it goes back quite that far. No, nope, but pretty, pretty far. Oh, an old Indian. Yeah. Did you get a date off of it yet? It looked like 1891. 91, yeah, absolutely. There's good, and you said it rang up extra high? Yeah, leave it under... Now it's not. It's oh, in the ground? Up at 35, but in the hole, it was like a 47. Did you recheck the hole? Is there something else down there? I, I did. It's a 47 quiet. is really high for yeah. an Indian. Beautiful condition on the back. Is it green, Rich? It's very green. Yeah, yeah. it looks green. To, oh, you do have something else in there, maybe. I mean, a 47 could be something else down there. Well, it's a great find on the Indian, Rich. We have not gotten a lot of old coins today, so it's nice to see some. I did just, like I said, I got a button. We got a couple of cool things. Doug's yelling. He's got a buckle i said is it a d buckle and he said no it's not a d buckle but it looks like a d like wouldn't that be what a d buckle is <laughs> i would think so i'm confused so i gotta walk all the way over there and hope it's not a d buckle <laughs> but uh great find on the indian and i hope that turns out to be something cool yeah i'll call you back if it is sounds good all right so dog tag doug called me and this one it's old doug yelled out he's got a buckle now, I usually don't go over for D buckles because we find a lot of D buckles and I can't date them. So I don't go over to the guys when they find D buckles. So I said, Doug, I yelled from across the field, Doug, is it a D buckle? And Doug's response was no, but it looks like a D, <laughs> which is what a D buckle is. So I walked over. <laughs> it looks more like a big spectacle buckle. well you said spectacle buckle and that's when but, i dropped everything but, and came over but it's not it's too big. you didn't yell that out and, and, well <laughs> i figured you'd get here sooner or later. all right let's see what we got see for oh oh i see already doug and, and half of it is missing i don't think it's a buckle at all i think it's a drawer a drawer pull you think yeah it actually looks like the same pattern on this side oh well, i'm not sure but i see what you mean it's not a d buckle but no, it does look it like it is a d. old it looks like the kind of D that would have been on Laverne and Shirley's shirt if their yeah. name was Deverne and Durley. You know what I mean? Like that Durley. kind of big, okay. big... Oh, it would be for you, Doug. <laughs> Laverne, Shirley, and Doug. Yeah. Oh, man, you would be the, you'd be the Carmine Ragusa of yeah. Laverne and Shirley. It looks like that script. Well, well done. I do like it, Doug, whatever the heck it is. Yes. 
it is old. Yeah, no, definitely. Probably almost as old as that house. Yeah, and even though this structure looks amazing, um, I remember hunting it a few years ago. So I'm going to try up that hill where Matt and Rich are because I don't think we've ever done that hill. And Doug will try around this building in case we missed anything. Well, and hopefully we're going to... Yep, well, we missed that on purpose. I'll save that for you. Oh, okay. It's a dog tag dog buckle. All right, still working here. This spot's paying off. At least there's interesting things around. Rich had a scream in. It was like a 52 when I swung over it. He went down a few inches and got an old brass cow tag with a huge number 19 on it. These are amazing. I have a couple of them from over the years. It's been a long time since I found one. And in the first field we were at this morning, I was joking with Charlie when we saw all, the, all those cows. I said, man, I hope someone finds a brass cow tag. <laughs> And then we moved to a whole different field a few miles away, and Rich gets one. Absolutely gorgeous, too. Love the patina on it. When were these? Do you know when these were used? These, widely? I'm going to say, probably in the 20s, and then they changed over to plastic, and now they're like a laminated paper. I found one that was attached to a chain. The chain went on for like 10 feet, and I just kept pulling and pulling and pulling, hoping there was something else, and it was just a really long chain. <laughs> so, I don't know. Interesting story, huh? Yeah. Great find, man. I love it. Thanks. Oh man, did you see those incredible old structures? Some of those things go back to the early 1700s, starter homes from the earliest settlers. And detecting around them, man, we got some cool stuff. Sure, we got some old coins like Matt's totally wiped slick copper. Based on the thinness of it, I'm gonna guess it was some sort of 1700s King George. And Rich with the 1891 Indian penny, incredible detail for a 130 plus year old coin. But the real story from this spot have to be the super cool relics we found. Like Doug's old brass badge piece with that large crest on it. My 1930s VFW token helping to save the kitties. Charlie got that cool part off of an old oil lamp burner. Rich with a thick brass cattle tag. Haven't found one of those in a while. Matt's silvery medallion with that fancy edging going all the way around. And of course, Doug's nicely patina D buckle slash drawer pull slash shirt embroidery emblem. But the three relics that stuck out to me most have to be Rich with the small knee buckle with the keyhole built into the design. I've never seen anything like that before. Then I pulled that 1700s Tomback button, not only with the full shank still intact, but it even had visibly pronounced groove lines like an old 45 RPM. But the find of the day, at least in my opinion, rich yet again with the incredible Spanish half real button. It was dated 1744 with all the coin details. That thing was one remarkable piece that could have easily slipped right into any museum. Man, I love doing around old structures like that. People could have lost anything over the centuries and you got a chance to find them. And of course, if you guys want to go out and find crazy cool pieces possibly lost centuries ago and you need a metal detector, shoot me an email, quarterhoarder, yahoo.com. Just let me know where you live and what your budget is and what kind of terrain you plan on swinging over. I'll help you pick out the best machine for your budget so you can get out and find some of the incredible things like we do every single week. I'm telling you, you're going to love it. It's a hobby of champions. Otherwise, thanks for watching, everybody. Happy hunting, and I will see you on the next one. Later.